G'day, Stephen Carey from OffTheGridKnives.com again. This one's a simple Saturday night video. Mainly only directed at the people who are doing a tough off grid. Yeah, if you've got a, you know, electronic heated system, you know, like a splitty or something going and you're at 10 kilowatt, probably turned off. But yeah, all those people doing a tough off grid. We're in the middle of winter. Oh well, only one month in. As I pan around, I'm sitting out in the workshop. It's like half past six at night. The sun's gone down. Oh, can't even see in the afterglow. Sitting out the shed, I tend to stay outside. I try to defy the winter. I do things like, you know, throw a tune on. And I'll stay there till about eight o'clock. But for all you people out, you know, doing it tough off the grid, I hope you've got, you know, some sort of a heater going. I really hope you've found an old truck wheel or a 44 gallon drum and got a big fire going. If you're in a caravan, hey, you can put a wood fire in a caravan, little cheap pot belly stoves, tiny ones. There's many ways that you can fight this winter off. We were pushing minus two last night. Even my hydroponics actually, the water in the hydroponics froze. <laughs> yeah, not real good for the plants, but we're, we're hoping. But yeah, for all you people doing a tough off the grid, I hope you've you know, thought about this before winter came along. We're pushing minus three tonight. Yeah, we're in the Highlands in Victoria, Central Highlands. I know a lot of people in Central New South Wales in the Highlands. Yeah, they tend to suffer the same really low temperatures. And it's not, not easy, it's not, not a pleasant time of year. I try to make it pleasant. I'll do dumb shit like stay outside, I put an extra jacket on. <laughs> we kicked out of this place. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the music. <laughs> but I am in the shed. My, um, as I say, my shed is a a bit of a bit of a picture about the inside of my mind, as all of our sheds are. You know, you scatter stuff everywhere. But yeah, I tend to stay at my shed until at least seven or eight o'clock at night. Most nights, it's getting so freaking cold though. This is just a call to all the people that are suffering off grid. When I say suffering, if you haven't quite prepared for winter, I really hope you take some steps. And it might be stick a, like I said, a cast iron pot belly in your, in your tin shed or whatever, but you're really gonna, in winter, summer's not so bad, we can all suffer the heat, but in winter you really gotta actually take some steps. The cold gets really, really grim. And it looks like this winter is gonna be a chilly one. We've had a couple of heavy frosts now. And we don't wanna get out of this place. <laughs> Sorry about that. We don't wanna get out of this place. And look, I'm not whinging. Myself and Kerry, you've seen all the vids if, if you've looked. We got, the, the house is toasty warm. We got a big fire roaring in there. But uh, I like to, myself, even after nine years off grid, I like to experience the evenings and I watch the sun go down right till the afterglow. And it gets friggin' cold. I mean, it gets friggin' cold. We're probably pushing zero now. And it's gonna go down to minus three. So there's a quick, quick call out to the people who are suffering off grid or going through some pain off grid. I really hope that you do take some steps. A wider shade of pale. Oh, yeah, I know. It's Saturday night. I'm gonna make this a short one. It's only a simple vid. Just a call out to people who may be sitting there suffering a little bit. Maybe you need to go out and find that truck cast iron rim, set a fire up. Maybe you need to round up, beg, borrow, steal, sell your fucking grandkids. Oh, I said it. I said both, actually. Oh, ouch. No. Cancel that. But maybe you need to round up 300 bucks and get a little tiny, cheap, 
cast iron pot belly. Those things actually can go in caravans, tiny houses, tin sheds, and you can sit around those buggers. Well, I've done this. We've got one in the little house, our little, little flat we built when we first moved here. They do an amazing job and they're really, really cheap. So I hope everyone's having a, a, a reasonable winter's night. It's gonna be a tough winter. This is just to maybe let a few people know they might want to take some steps. It's okay to put an extra jacket on like myself at the moment. Sit out in your shed, if you've got a shed or a tin shed. But you really need some heat, guys. This weather is really detrimental to the old health. <laughs> you can't drink enough distilled water to get away from this cold, I can tell you right now. So anyway, cheers from Stephen Kerry. Hope you're having a good one. Hope it's a productive one. Hope you've managed to get something done through these chilly mornings. I wake up, I can barely get my fingers to move by about 10 o'clock. It's freaking cold. But if you're off grid and you're at a, a simple setup at the moment, please, even shoot, shoot us a fucking email. I said it again. Oh, sorry. Shoot us an email. If you haven't really got a clue as to how to warm your your area up shoot us an email there are plenty of good videos online about how to set up an agricultural heating system but feel free shoot us an email i will answer when i get to them everyone's emails that come through from off the grid and even a reply and face plant i really don't like how can I put this? Um, we're like second time around off grid, second property. And yeah, I've set the, the new place up with suitable heating. I mean, I've put a couple of wood fires in there, carries in there and she's actually not suffering. I like staying outside and feeling the raw, the raw. I actually, I, I have some envy for people in caravans and tin sheds. I know that sounds a bit weird, but I do envy them in a way because it causes you to have to step outside the square and deal with a simple thing like heating and maybe take it to the next step. And that next step may just be a 44 gallon, uh, gallon, gallon drum. I've seen a couple of posts with those sort of fires on. We've all seen the uh, truck brake rim fire style thing and you can buy some little cast iron pot bellies but i hope you're warm if you're not warm and you are suffering shit shoot me an email or jump on youtube plenty of advice on there that's it for me and i'd say it's it from kerry but kerry's inside knitting <laughs> got a lovely one pot wonder sitting on the stove a wood fired stove like with everything off grid you gotta do it yourself if you're sitting there freezing your ass off you really got to deal with it. Get some advice from me or somebody else. Or you could listen to Ichiku Park. <laughs> anyway, cheers from us. Catch it. Subscribe a like if you want. Just a quick video. We actually cut each other's hair today. <laughs> you don't want to know about that. <laughs> Off the grid means you do everything for yourself. We actually cut each other's hair. Not because we haven't got a hairdresser or a barber within 20k but we choose to do our own haircuts even so yeah <laughs> off the grid can be pretty weird <laughs> don't worry we're not rich enough to go down and pay the barber <laughs> yeah hope you're warm hope everything's good if you're not shoot us a fucking contact oh, i said it again oh shoot sorry about that shoot us an email or look on youtube plenty of options to generate some heat no matter where you're living or how you're living right at the moment they all came out to scream and shout yeah i'm listening to a golden oldie i will be going in soon it's only about seven o'clock at the moment but i will be going in soon hope your day was good like i said hope it was positive keep your chin up everything you do for yourself is a damn good day it's a damn good thing everything you do cut hair build a wood fire if you're too cold tonight make sure you're not too cold tomorrow night 
take the steps, make the contacts, do the research. Life can be good. Life is good off the grid. Cheers. Subscribe, like, whatever. We appreciate it. <laughs> I'd like to actually let the thing run. The music's good. But anyway, cheers from Steve. Cheers from Kerry by default, who's inside knitting. And we'll catch you on the next one, eh? Have a good one. It's winter. Freaking freezing. <laughs> But we love it, even if the hydroponics do freeze up. <laughs> Catch you guys, bye.